piece by piece, nail by nail. Kim Pape's brand new home is starting to take shape before her eyes. It's phenomenal. I just, I can't believe how fast it's going up and it, it, these guys have been working their tail ends off. It's, it's amazing. They're, to me, they're all heroes. Pape had only been in her Woodville trailer home a matter of months before it was seriously damaged by more than four feet of rushing water last September. She says the flood water only took about 10 minutes to rise. About 2, 2.30 in the morning I got a knock on the door. It was um, one of my neighbors I hadn't met yet. And she said, I'm, you know, she introduced herself and said, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to evacuate. Pape and scores of others in the Zumbro Valley were left waterlogged and in her case, homeless. More than half a year after the flooding, the need for cleanup and reconstruction help was so great that the organizers of CareFest decided to turn their one-day mission to the community into a two-day event. They did so by initially focusing on Zumbro Valley area communities in May. Then they decided to split up the work assignments between those communities and Rochester on the event's traditional date in June. I also really thank each of the volunteers too because it's a, it's, it, it can happen without each volunteer and I always try to say each, each one is critical, each one is essential to make the whole thing work, to make the masterpiece. <laughs> Around 1,500 volunteers from more than 30 local church congregations found plenty to do as some of them eased a deck back into place and shored up the foundation on this Woodville area home. Inches. What we did is we raised the house up and put uh, a uh, pillar foundation under the house and leveled it off and squared it up again. Right. It's a pretty cool uh, uh, experience to be around uh, all these people that are, that are uh, pitching in and helping out. At the Hope Ranch in Rochester, volunteers found themselves keeping out critters and cleaning cobwebs out of the indoor riding ring. So how's it going? Pretty good. A new coat of paint is the next step in some work volunteers began last year as they helped preserve and yep. save some aging buildings. It's just really cool to see the community and everyone come together and like do this for God and it's good to serve him. The CareFest help is crucial to Kit Molner, who is the founder of Hope Ranch, a therapy program that uses animals to teach life lessons. And so for me to be able to focus on my, my clinical work and on facilitating equine assisted sessions and therapy dog assisted sessions and regular sessions, we couldn't do it without this kind of help. <laughs> the CareFest work at Hope Ranch is also a payback of sorts for this little girl's grandparents, Ken and Karen Levos. Well, it means a lot to be able to do it um, here because I believe very strongly in what Kit does as a therapist and as a counselor and as a person who uses the horses as part of her therapy. I really believe that that's important and she helps a lot of families and I'm very happy to be here to help a little bit, give back. Whether it is aiding a special outreach or helping others start all over again, CareFest is clearly touching lives and restoring hope. I really appreciate it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, without these guys, I could not afford to be this far along in, this pro in the process of rebuilding. Altogether has been unbelievable. Dave Hansen, Olmsted County Journal.